Now let's build the thrusters for our spacecraft. So I want to use the geometry back here as we have before, but it's not really giving me exactly what I want in terms of the edge flow. And so we'll use this as a base, but then we'll go in and tweak it a little bit to better match the shape. So let's grab kind of the faces that we want to start with. And let's just do one side, and then we'll be able to copy it over to the other side. So remember, we want to go in and duplicate our faces because we want them to stay on that low res piece. So I'm going to pull it out so we can kind of see it a little bit better. And then we can kind of modify it a bit. So I do want it to kind of follow along uh, with that shape. Okay, first thing that I will do is I want to kind of cut off the bottom here. So let's go into our back view. I'm going to grab these points here and just kind of move those up a bit. And I'll move this over so it still matches with kind of the angle there. Okay, now it's a little bit high. So let's take those move them down a little bit. Okay, so something like that. Let me get rid of those faces on the bottom. We'll move this in slightly. So I also want to create a little bit more of kind of an angle down here. So kind of cutting this off. So how can we do that? Well, we want to use the multi-cut tool again, but we use it in a slightly different way. So let's grab multi-cut. And here, I'm just going to click where I want this to start. And I actually want it to come kind of right up here. And then let's bring it down about there. Okay, and I'll just hit Enter. Now, I can get rid of this triangle. And we have a piece that's just like that. So let's modify the shape of it. I'm going to grab these points. And I want to bring them kind of inside that pipe and kind of match up the, the angle that we have there. So let me just pull those in a bit. So we get something like that. And then I'll pull these down. Now it looks okay, but we do have an issue here that may not be immediately apparent, so I haven't really talked about it. But when we're working with polygons, you can see this one has four sides. We just deleted one that had three sides. That's the smallest number of sides a polygon can have. But this one, let's count up the sides that this one has. One, two, and then there's a point right here. So three, four, five. And we want to try to avoid polygons with more than four sides. And so to be able to kind of fix this, we'll go back and use our multi-cut. We'll start from that point. I'm just going to go to the opposing edge here and continue it straight across. So something like that. Okay, so we end up with something that looks like that. Now the topology doesn't really matter as much. Uh, the key is that we want to have a quad, 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 quad here. So now let's select these polygons, control E, and let's extrude those back into the engine. I'll go ahead and delete those. And then again, I'm going to reverse the normals set to face and then just like we did with the vent I'm going to hit control E and let's do an offset we'll do a positive offset so something like that and then G to repeat and we'll give it some thickness okay and then we can take the whole thing if it's too far out let's center our pivot move it back in a little bit and that gives us kind of a, a thruster shape that we can have we can make this plane on the inside um, we can change that into a different color and in fact we can go ahead and if you want to you can go ahead and separate this out so if we take these faces instead of duplicating them instead of duplicating let's go ahead and extract those faces so we want to go to I think edit mesh and down right under duplicate extract so that's done the same thing as duplicate, except it hasn't left any faces on the original piece. 
So now, let's center our pivot. Now it's open back there, but we have this extra piece. I'll just move it forward and just scale it up ever so slightly. So now we can make that a different material very, very quickly and easily. Let's go back and freeze our transformations and let's delete our history on these as well. Just like that. All right, so that's how we can build our thruster. So the next thing we want to do is start to go in and add more of those edges for smoothing. You can see on the main body of the ship, it really isn't constructed to be able to be smoothed like we constructed the guard piece. And so let's go in and spend some time adding some edges uh, for that. So we'll do that next.